Hey guys, uh, just a quick tutorial to help you along your quest to route your HTC Desire HT. I'm holding mine at the moment, running Android 2.3.3, and I've managed to route this uh, as it is. Nothing's changed except now it's routed. Can do anything to it apparently. Still don't know what that means. All right. First of all, what it, what I've done is put my SD card in the back there. It's just a little one gigabyte. I'm gonna unplug this. Plug it back in. Alright, now I'm going to mount it as a disk drive. Okay, this is just to help you get started. Go okay, done. Alright, now it should pop up on the computer somewhere, like there. Okay, you open to folder view. Go to my computer. Now you see that here is a memory card. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to right click it and format it. This is Windows 7. Format it as FAT32, the file system. I've got quick format checked, so just to make it nice and quick for this video. Okay, once that's done, that's done. Hit OK. Close that. Now right click it again and eject the card. Okay, it's crucial that you do it in this, because in this um, order, because I've come across problems doing it and not doing the orders right. Okay, so now that that's done, what we want to do is power down the device. Just going to unplug it and turn it off. Power off. Okay, that's closing down. All right, the rest is all pretty much easy. You just go to this website that I've got up here. This is all just a disclaimer and whatnot. I'm going to roll down to here where it says download. A A H K two nine one zero two zero eleven dot zip, and download that file. Uh, from memory, it's about a hundred and something megs. It doesn't take very long to get there. And once you've done that, you put it, extract that zip file onto a folder on your desktop. Is the easiest to work with because I'm just going to delete it when I'm done. I've made a folder here called New Root. Open it up. This is the contents of the zip file that you've just downloaded. Okay, so click the manual and follow the steps on the manual to the letter, by the way. Like as this says here, insert the card to the phone. Now we're assuming that the phone's turned off first, so you turn the phone off. Okay, the phone's powered off. I'm going to insert the SD card into the phone. Okay, that's done. Boot the phone. Alright, so I'm going to turn it on now. Okay, it's on. Turn on US debugging. Yes, plug it in. Use the original cable. So I'm going to plug that in now. So remember to keep um, the order exactly how they've done it. So as soon as you've done formatting that card, eject it from the phone, turn the phone off, let it the phone actually turn off, and as it says here, insert the card into the phone, and then boot the phone, then plug it in. So that we've got. Okay, maybe I plug that in a little bit early. All right, <coughs> I'll just wait till you got the home screen open and then plug it in, so that you'll get this little pop up here. That says, you know, disk drive, HTC sync, a USB tethering or charge only. I'm going to click charge only and hit done. Now, uh, what they mean by um, debugging is if you go to settings, into your settings, uh, applications, and go to development, you'll see a little thing there that says USB debugging and make sure that that is checked. So that's, I hope that you know what that is by now. Um, right, let's make this quick. So we're going to close this down and go back to where we extracted those files. I'm going to right click Hack Ace and run as administrator in Windows 7. It's going to ask me for permission. And then it's going to open up this box here. Okay. Now it's prompting me for a pass key and press enter. When I find the pass key, I go back to where we've extracted them. Go to the folder, tools. Go into the txt folder and then open kajin.txt. And it's right Okay, so we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to the command prompt 
box and paste it and hit enter. Bang. That's it. Advanced uh, Ace Advanced Hack Kit. Uh, you've got two options. You can hack it, one. All you do is you press one and then hit enter and your phone will be rooted if you've followed the steps to the letter. Or two, to donate. Either either. I think you should donate. Anyway, enjoy.